George, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us. What would you say to people today in regards to the opportunity that we have of people from around the world coming to study here in the UK? I've always felt, and I think I fail sometimes to communicate it, that reaching out to the students who have come to study in our own country is one of the greatest, most strategic mission opportunities that we can ever get. And, uh, and looking back over these 60 years of sending missionaries out all over the world at considerable expense and having my heart broken many times as often they're not able to stay and others don't really fit into the culture. But we've seen many answers to prayer, especially as we focused on training nationals. But to miss these people that are right here in our universities from some of the most needy, forgotten, difficult to get into nations in the world is to really, I believe, have a major blind spot that we need to, we need to deal with. And we cannot think this is going to be done by a few full-time people or a few associate full-time people. They are a vital part of it. We need to see the average person, the average student at university or in their church reaching out even if it's just at the early stage of just being friendly, because some of these people, especially Muslims, feel uh, totally rejected by the, the majority of the culture. And Islamophobia and other phobias are very much alive, especially if you're noticing what's going on in our planet. So I thank the Lord for this ministry and other similar ministries, and I pray more people will get involved. And... Uh, we pray this virus will decrease and we'll be able to get out more face to face. But it's amazing the conversations you can even have at a distance, sometimes out taking a walk. So the Lord lead you and guide you.